Say hello to the most unique e-ink device we've seen in a very long time. This is the Philips Business Monitor. And what's interesting about this is not the LCD screen. What is interesting is that attached to the LCD screen is a 13.3 inch non-removable e-ink screen. The first thing we're going to look at is cell phone connection. So you can see you can go over here and simply plug it in. From here you can do some readings, you can do videos, you can do basically anything you wish. It mirrors your cell phone exactly. You do not need to set anything up, you simply plug in the USB cable. That is literally it. We cannot confirm that it will work with every single cell phone on the market, but it is what it is and this is what it looks like. In its inherent form, this is how fast it is. You do have some ways to change it and that is by pressing these buttons. So if you press the bottom button, first you get video mode. If you press it again, up or down, you'll get video one, video two, text one, two, three, and four. Text four being the absolute best quality text, although the slowest refresh. We can mitigate this by going back down and go to something that has a little bit more refresh like video one or video two, and then you get some fluidity. It's honestly not that much different the way it looks and video just performs significantly better. You can also press this button here and go to different levels of contrast. You can eliminate the contrast pretty drastically and go over to eight or you can lower it down to one to get a little bit of boldness in the situation. I would have to say the video quality is definitely up there with the likes of Onyx and Dasung. It is right up there when it comes to monitors. It is very, very quick. We're seeing high sense levels of refresh on multiple different modes. With just a USB cable, you can connect your PC or laptop to the unit directly. You don't need an HDMI, you don't need a display driver or anything like that. You can simply just use it as is. This is very useful for people that do not want to actually put in power, put in an HDMI, set up drivers and all that. It actually just works right out of the gates. You don't need to worry about any sort of setup or anything like that. It is very direct. Please bear with us a little bit in the overall picture because we have two competing screen technologies. We have LCD LED on the left and we have e-ink on the right. But here comes the productivity section. If you want to be most productive, this is what it's going to look like. So I can grab my Microsoft Word and pin it over here on the side. I can grab anything else I'd like, like so. I can go ahead and grab this and pop it to the top and I can continue writing on this side right here. I am Peter. So that's kind of what it looks like there. And then all my other things I can kind of do normally here. So I can watch a video. I can look at some books. I can even maybe look at some Google images all at the exact same time. And if I say, you know what, my, my eyes are getting strained a little bit. I'm gonna throw the video over here just so I can maybe make that all my eyes a little bit, give it a rest. And then I go over here and I look at my colors again and I go and I maybe check out a book. So you do get this kind of three monitor setup and right over here off camera, I am utilizing everything with an actual laptop this time, not a smartphone. This does of course have a glow light. We'll show you that in a little bit, but this is kind of what it's looking like. So this is a good opportunity to show you guys the differences between LCD LED because you can see here how slow e-paper is in conjunction in comparison to 
LCD LED. So I'm going to maybe try to grab this a little bit halfway. What I'm going to do is bring it over here. I'm going to expand it and I'll play half in the LCD and half in the e-ink. So you can kind of see the difference in speed because this is having to refresh very very quickly even though it's not really capable of it but look at the fluidity on the LCD and that's just the inherent nature of the two screen technologies when it comes down to it so you gotta kinda know what you're signing up for but the beauty of the Philips is that they give you both in fact they're the only device ever that is in a monitor setup to actually give you both which is never before seen you do have a swivel as well which we showed you at the top of the hour so that's really nice now note that when you do you put your colors here the colors go away because unlike the recent Kaleido 3 coverage you've been seeing this does not have color so if you try to click something it's going to be in black and white but you haven't destroyed your image so don't freak out if you simply move it back here it's going to be in color both of these show and handle the raw footage in different ways this one's color this one is not but you do get that little annex anytime you want to use it over here. You can use this as your display as well. You don't need to use the LCD portion at all. For example, if we go over here and we go down to what we're looking at in terms of the displays, you will see that we have three displays here. One is a mirror of my PC and three is the extension. You can make this the extension as well so you can actually extend and not duplicate or not mirror by clicking the drop down of whatever you want them to do for example this one is duplicate desktop one and two and this one is an extension so the opportunities and functionality is basically endless you can do a combination of basically anything you wish and you do get the flexibility to put this anywhere you want as well. You don't need to put the three next to it in tandem the way it looks here. It just makes the most sense because ergonomically it is right next to it. So you do want to maybe follow that for a little bit of ease of use, but essentially you can put it anywhere you want. You can put your Word documents over there, kind of hide it as you're typing things out. You don't have to utilize it to an e-ink perspective. You can always put it back here and utilize color at the same time. Finally, we want to show you that this does indeed have a glow light. So when you click on this, that's the front light off. This will be front light on with white. You can also see that it's really blue and that's that's not looking too good. So you can do front light warm, which actually makes it kind of a stone white as well. You can proceed to do front light off as well. So just because this is an e-paper panel, you don't have to be freaked out and say, oh, it's not going to work for me because now this is going to be black and white and it's going to be all dark. You you can utilize the front light on it and 13.3s with front lights have only come out kind of recently and Philips is no exception. Look, e-ink monitors are expensive. Dasung, Onyx, Ricoh, and now Philips. It doesn't matter who you go with. But what's interesting about this one is you have two screens. Two screens, one of which swivels at a 45 degree angle. There is literally no device in the world like this. It is almost unthinkable that Philips would start their e-paper career with something like this, but honestly, we're glad they did.